Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, just clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, cracking start Bowdler. Hello. <laughs> um, welcome to uh, my world of errors. No. Welcome to the walkthrough for the Zebra Humankind sound set. Um, I'm going to go through my little spiel again at the beginning in case... Uh, so, sorry if you've watched some of the other ones and are now bored of me saying this, but um, not sorry if this is the first one you've come across. Now, Humankind is a project I started in 2013. The aim was to release some limited edition sound sets uh, to raise money for Oxfam, which is an absolutely fantastic charity doing lots of great work around the globe. Um, the principle was I released four half size sound sets, such as 64 sounds rather than the usual 128. Uh, I did that for Absinthe, Massive, Omnisphere, and Trillion. Um, they were only available for one month and then they were gone. Uh, ever since then, I've had people asking to re-release them because they missed them, or they've only heard of me since uh, since I actually did it, uh, so they've never had them available. Um, and so I've decided to re-release them, to raise some more money for, for charity. Uh, and also, I felt um, it was going to be unfair if I just re-released the original four sound sets because then anybody who supported me well the first time round um, would have nothing to buy and would have nothing to gain. Um, so with that in mind, I've made four new humankind sound sets for uh, Bazil, Diva, Zebra, and Zebra HZ, the Dark Zebra. Uh, all Yuhi synths. Uh, that's just how it ended up. Um, they were ones that I felt needed doing uh, and were fun to do. So there you go. So yes, here we are with um, four brand new Humankind sound sets, of which Zebra is one. Um, so I'm going to go through these sounds um, and hopefully you'll enjoy what you hear. So a nice little arp to start us off with. Quite resonant over there, let's play a bit low. That's a bit more um, present on the ears. <laughs> that was a little, little high, wasn't it? Okay, so we've got a handful of arps, um, and they're nice and complex, because uh, Zebra's really good at doing that sort of whole dynamic uh, dynamic arp thing which um we all enjoy and then a few bass lines because again zebra's really good at them so why wouldn't you oh this one's deep and all the mod reel does in this one mm, lovely and subtle that one <laughs> You might not have picked much of that up if you're just listening through your laptop speakers on uh, YouTube. Always enjoy doing bass lines on on Zebra. Really do. I mean the ARP, it's a nice little system. It does work very well, and then you, yeah, you know, plenty of fun to be had in the synthesis section with your oscillators and your your filters and your LFOs. I don't know why I'm just saying that like it explains everything, <laughs> but it's very good. And as per usual on Zebra 1, you've got all the, the controls here, so... Etc. And a few bass lines. Let's bring that up so I don't want to... Filthy oscillating bass. Not 
going to disagree there. Let's try that very modern mod wheel. Almost got a kind of MS-20 squeal to it. Is it an MS-20? Okay, yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Uh. You don't have to be a drum and bass fan to love Reese Bases. They have many uses. So yep, yeah, some nice little basses. We've got one little drum patch here. I wonder what this does. Big old analog slam. And then one key. That is one of the things I like about um, Zebra. Um, if you've watched my Diva walkthrough, you've heard me waxing lyrical about how great it is for recreating analog patches. It is the best one. But Diva's very good at doing, uh, sorry, not Diva, Zebra's very good at doing uh, analog style patches as well. But it is also very, very good at um, the digital synths. I mean, this has got a. Classic sort of 80s digital synth sound to it. Um. So there's, you've got a bit of everything with Zebra, you really have. And then you've got the analog again. Actually, it's almost like a mix, that, that particular sound. That's rather lovely. And some little loops. Lots of white noise going on there, as you can hear. I do like the extra with the bass lines, the, the sort of the percussion loops and sequences. The extra movement you get from the uh, delays on here is really rather lovely. I mean, sometimes you might want to turn them off and use your own delay plugin just to add a bit more uh, depth and uh, variation, but. What you've got here in, in the effects on just Zebra is, is really quite cool and does add a lot of life to them. Pads, 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 oh yes. Um, no, it's, Zebra's just an absolute joy when it comes to pads, it really is. that sort of that whole sort of lush broken lo-fi thing just so sweetly it's my absolute go-to for pads And there you go, there's that, that whole drifty analog thing that uh, Zebra can instill into it. We've all got one of the old classic rave chord sequences to go on there. Those were the days. Let's have a bit of mod for your friend. Just adds a bit of intensity, that one.
been enjoying the drifty stuff recently, the analog stuff. Um, I'm working on a uh, an album project which is very much based around the whole sort of 80s synth vibe thing. Um, so I think that has been influencing my uh, <laughs> my patch design a little bit. That sounds vain, doesn't it? But yeah, that is a nice sound. <laughs> So we'll move on to some soundscape stuff. Let's see what we've got here. Creepy bassy darkness. That is quite moody. Quite subtle as well. So it can be creepy and bassy without having to be loud and aggressive. Still elements to it in the background, and there, how well you can pick it up there, but it almost sounds like um, little robots whispering to each other. Okay, and then we'll move on to the sequences. random elements to it. And it's entirely up to you whether that's a good thing or not. Um, just something you can do with the 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 ARP it has great great detail in it, and uh, we always like that on an ARP. So there we go. That's the zebra um, sound set for humankind. So it's got, you know, it's 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 very much like my other zebra sound sets, and it's mainly for that sort of cinematic underscore vibe rather than um, anything too in your face and epic and noisy and nasty. 
um, with a little hint of extra analogue goodness in it this time round, which is quite nice. Um, so yes, please do support the Humankind project and help me raise money for Oxfam. It would be lovely if you could. Um, it would seriously be lovely if you can get anywhere near the target we achieved last time, which was uh, just over £3,000, which was uh, very, very, very pleasant to, to be able to hand that money over to, to Oxfam. It really was. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed what you've heard, then, then yeah, do support me. And thanks for watching, um, as always. Okay, bye.